your friends, all your grandchildren, children, seniors, friends of mine, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. By the grace of God, I'm good, fine. I hope you too, you'll be fine. Thank you. I'm healthy. Keep praising the Lord. <laughs> Toothless Grandpa Peter is back again. Yes. By the grace of God, I'm healthy, fine. Thank you. I appreciate the Lord, the living God. Keep praying. Prayer is our victory. Prayer is our endurance, belief, our weapon. Prayer is our the only weapon. Prayer is our health. Prayer is our forgiveness, patience. Humbleness. Kindness. And our fortress. Praise. Our fortress. Shield. So I'm going to start with Our mighty fort fortress. The mighty fort fortress, our weapon. So keep praying. We don't have to pay for the prayer. Prayer is 
free of charge. Use, keep praying. According to his will, according to his plan, according to his according to his ideals. We we want to live according to our we choose and we want to live according to our plan and we think our plan is better than his, but it is wrong. Live according to his ideas, plan. You will know, you will be realizing later. His plan is much more greater than our plan. He never did bad things to his children. He does the best for his children believe. Sometimes you think he has punished you. Never he never punishes his children believe. So we need the Lord as our guide. So I'm going to play him a cover of The Lord, our shepherd, we are sheep. We have to follow his way. It is safer than our way that we choose. We have chosen.
And I'm going to continue with onward Christian soldiers. We are soldiers. Let him use. Nowadays he needs us. Nowadays most of the children abandon him, forsaken him, forget to appreciate his blessings, what he has done for them, what he has blessed them, they forgot nowadays. Most of the children, people, they left him. They abandoned. So Jesus needs us uh, to let, to make them, to remind them to turn back to him. So we are soldiers, like a soldier for his army, for spreading the gospel for his salvation. We are soldiers of his salvation army. So let him use, be a volunteer for his kingdom to spread the gospel. Let him use, he needs us. So I'm going to continue with song, hymn, onward Christian soldier. I, I'll try my best not to make a mistake. side, good side of the person who are against you. Even God looks on your bright side, looks on the good side of you and forgives you. So forgives others. If they don't forgive, never mind. Forgive them. Look on their bright side. Forgives who are against you, who intimidates you, who hates you. Who spit you in the face? Forgive. 
Pray for them. You have sinned, have sinned in the past. Nobody forgives you. Never mind. Please don't sin anymore now. God forgives you. And I would like to tell, encourage my friends, children, grandchildren, whoever you are, when you stroll along the street, when you go to the market, when you stroll along the street, you will meet people who are begging for money, for food. Yes, you will meet before sharing your blessing. Let them know. Introduce Jesus Christ first. Let them know he is the living God. He loves his children. He, he, he will respond when you call him. Explain them. Introduce testify how great, how good, and Lord of Lords, God of Gods, and the living God. Uh, he loves his children, he's right beside them, let them know, tell them, explain, eh? be bold, boldly confess, testify, before you're, you're sharing your blessing, and you'll be blessed. You don't need to Testify, explain in front of many people, just only one is enough. Yeah? You will get the same blessing, same amount of blessing, whether you testify, confess, preach only in front of an individual or in front of public, many people. Never mind. If there is only one person, keep on preaching, testifying, you will get the blessing, the same amount of blessing. Whether you testify only in front of one person or whether you testify in front of many people, many persons. Introduce. Let them know, explain, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, he loves all his children, no matter who you are, what you are, believers, non-believers, atheists, children who worship the Spirit, never mind, he loves all his children, he wants all his children to get to heaven. Uh, worry for tomorrow, don't worry for your living condition, food, you know, for your luxurious life, for your <clears throat> well-being, for your earthly, earthly materials, don't worry. You know, he has promised, he, he has already provided to you. We don't, for, some, for other people, they have to ask, they have to tell their gods, ask their gods to provide them, to give them luck, to give them prosperity. We don't need for God's children. We don't need. Now, he has already know what we need, known what we need, and already prepared, reserved for us. Believe. He is alive. Now, he never breaks his promises. He's the only one in God who has promises upon his children. No other God has promises. And for children, grandchildren, I would like to 
uh, let me know, tell you that in the class, grandchildren, children in the class, in the, at the job, when you get promotion, when you pass the exam, when you graduate, and when you have a, an opportunity, chance to give thanksgiving speech. Please first appreciate the Lord first. Appreciate the Lord first and how great, how good He is, the living Lord. And don't be, don't feel shy, don't feel awkward you know, to mention His name, to testify in front of the these principals, classmates, comrades, uh, co-workers, don't feel shy in front of the people who don't know him yet. Let them know, be bold to confess, you know, to testify his name. Don't feel shy. You'll be blessed because of him. You, know, you achieve your uh, goal, you, know, you, get, you graduate, you get promotion because of him, because of his grace. Let them know, explain, testify in front of your co-workers, classmates who don't know him yet. Please do, and you'll be blessed more than before, more than now. And, and when you grow up, when you've grown up and become by the grace of God, when you become scientists, surgeons, physicians from the hospital, researchers, inventors, astronauts, before and before you do your experiment, before you perform the operation at the hospital as a surgeon, physician. Pray to God first. Show that the Lord is with you. The living God, Jesus Christ, the living God is with you. Before you do your experiment, before you do your research, before you do perform the operation in the operation room, pray and ask and give thanks to God first in front of the other surgeons, other scientists, other inventors, other professors. Please do. Don't feel shy, don't feel bad, awkward to mention his name, be bold, boldly mention his name in front of your friends, scientists, surgeons, physicians, nurses at the hospital, doctors, you know, and you'll be blessed. You know, let them know there's a living God, you know, God who creates all the, the things, who creates all the Mankind, these at the hospital, these machines, sophisticated machines that can trace, that can diagnose the disease, that can cure, heal the disease, the powerful medication, the creator of all these things. Let them know. Don't feel bad and you'll be blessed more than before, more than now. I'm testifying because he is alive, otherwise I won't testify. He, he is right beside you. As for me too, I didn't take any medication. I believe in those words which he had spoken 2,000 years ago to the sick people, to the people with disease. Your faith has made you heal. Those words are echoing in my ear. 
Yes, I believe, I trust in those words. That's why I'm healthy, I don't need to go to the hospital. I believe those words who have spoken, the Lord who has spoken those words is just right beside me, but invisible. That's why. Trust in those words. Believe in those words. Because he is alive. Otherwise, never mind. You can go to the hospital, to the clinic for your health. And pray before you you have before you eat, drink, pray those vegetables, herbs, roots, plants, even water, uh, he can turn it into medicine. Believe. I believe in those trust in those words because he is alive. That's why I'm testifying. Otherwise I won't testify if he was not if he is not alive. If he no, is not existing. He is not if he not exist, I won't testify. Believe and share your blessing. Thank you for listening. Grandpa, toothless grandpa Peter is still a sinner. Pray for me too. Pray for one another, forgive. God has already forgiven you. Look, God, even God has, God looks on your bright side and forgives you, sees you on your bright side and forgives you. So he looks on the bright side of the people who are against you, who hate you, who intimidate you. And we try to become a born again person, try to become a close friend of his, Jesus Christ, him. Uh, try to become a close friend of Jesus Christ. And Whatever you ask, your prayer will be answered. Believe. Thank you for listening, and I'm going to continue with a hymn.
forgive me. Please forgive me. And I'm continue for the young children, grandchildren, not to get bored. Um, I'm going to play some pop songs for you, not to become bo boring.
song. I like that song. A Thai a song from Thailand. A, a Thai pop song. I like the tune. That's why. But I try my best. And I have played on my own style. On my own version. And another one. Shagan Stephen, old song, cover song of Shagan Stephen. Uh, you got me crazy. You drive me crazy. I try my best on my own style, on my own version. For your listening pleasure. I give thanks to the Lord to give, give me this kind of playing style to entertain for you. I give, I appreciate him. Oh Lord, keep using me, oh Lord. Thank you, give thanks, I give thanks to him. So, grandchildren, children who are learning the guitar lesson, uh, don't give up, keep, keep on, keep up playing, keep on, keep on practicing. The more you practice, the more you play, the more you will be get, the more you will become perfect. You will get new style. I've seen on YouTube nowadays, there's talented children as a beard on their own playing style. I'm, I'm proud of them. So, grandchildren, children, don't give up playing. Don't stop playing. Keep playing. Keep practicing. And you will get more style, more playing style techniques. Really.
Lincoln Stevens, uh, You Drive Me Crazy. Long time ago, long, long ago, this song's been played, sung. And last but not the least, I'm going to play a Burmese folk song. This song is uh, composed by Po Su. The composer is Po Su. And uh, the song, singer, this song sung by a Karen pop singer, a popular Karen pop singer, Kong Kong. And I'll try my best for the youngsters for the children, grandchildren. The song name is in Burmese, Yoniba, Yoniba, I think. Yes. And sung by a current popular singer, male singer, popular male singer, Kong Kong. Yes. Composed by Kusu. Kusu lives in US.
for listening. And God bless you. See you next time with new song. Toothless Grandpa Peter will be back again. Pray for me. Pray for me too. Pray for one another. I'm still a sinner. I appreciate the Lord to entertain to pray for your listening pleasure. I appreciate him. Oh Lord, I give thanks to you. Keep on using me. Bless. May God bless you all. Thank you.